Hey everybody, Mark Spectre Comics, and I'm back. This time, I'm going to do a product review. Ended up picking up a BCW comic book bin short box. Going to unbox it and give it my review. If you're interested in that, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. So, like I said, I'm going to do a product review, an honest review, on uh, the BCW comic book bin short box. I'm going to open it up, put it together, and put some comic books in there of uh, different eras to see if it, you know, if it can hold all these different comic books. So, uh, if you guys are interested in that, you know, you're in the right place. So, um... Ended up um, ordering this the other day. I went right on BCW's website, tried to, uh, you know, purchase one of these. And to find out, they were actually out of stock. Um, went on their site. They said it's $34.99 and it's back ordered until March 14th, which is like, you know, still several weeks ahead. So... The next best thing I ended up going on was on eBay and Amazon, and um, I have an account with Amazon, so uh, ended up going on there, and they had one on there for twenty nine, just over twenty nine dollars, and uh, obviously that's with free shipping. So <laughs> I was like, well, this is this is strange because um, on BCW it's thirty four ninety nine, not including shipping. So with shipping, it ends up coming out to economy shipping. It's like an extra sixteen dollars because this is this is not light. This is what it says on the package: three and a half pounds. So I ended up buying this on Amazon for twenty nine dollars, and uh, calculated that out. And with shipping from BCW, you ended up you know basically undercutting the competition by forty four percent, which I'm like really surprised. But anyways, enough of the. Uh, you know the, the math on that let's uh you're here for the actual product review so uh like i said i was a little surprised that i was able to find this on amazon when uh, they were still out of stock on the actual bcw website so bcw you gotta do a little better um first time i've ever had one of these um bins from uh BCW. I've been trying just, you know, because I have, I believe I have like five short boxes at home and one long box. And obviously you buy these comic books and you, you want to be able to preserve them for a very long time because these are, you know, your your investments. You know, these are books you buy and you, you put them in bags and boards, right, to protect them. So why not put them in the best products out there? So this is why I wanted to try this um, this short box to see if it really, you know, holds well compared to like the cardboard stuff. And I'm guesstimating that it, it will. I don't know. That's my theory at least. So um got one, two, let's see. A few different pieces here. Guessing this is for the top. And uh checking this out you also got it comes with one partition so I believe you can buy more more partitions from the uh, the website on BCW and um, instructions look pretty easy um, looks like there's only there's only four <laughs> four instructions on here so uh, all right uh, I'm gonna put this together and uh, I might just uh, fast forward this to make it easier for you guys because uh, I'm sure you guys don't want to watch this part anyways. All right.
Um, obviously, you've got to tighten it up a little bit on certain sides just because it's, you know, fit in here for the first time and just got to tighten some sections here. But um, it feels pretty sturdy. Um, it's got a little bit of a, you can see, a slight flap issue. You can probably just tweaking this out a little bit will probably straighten that out. Actually, it looks like it looks like it just did actually from just moving it over just a little bit. Um, okay, so I added the uh, partition in there already. These are pretty cool. You can separate them in different sections. It looks like there's what one. Four, um, four sections here that you can put partitions on. Uh, like I said, you can probably buy more of these on BCW's site. And um, as you can see, there are little holes here on the side, so it's not going to be waterproof. Um, I don't believe there is a waterproof short box out there in the market, if I'm not mistaken. If there is, please uh, let me know. I'd love to do a review on that as well. Um, but like I said, this feels pretty sturdy. Um, now let's put this to the test. I'm going to put a variety of books. Um, got some books here from, you know, different ages, bronze, silver, and gold. And uh, I'm not going to bother with the modern because I know it's going to fit no problem. So um, I'm going to put in some silver age books and uh, see if they fit without any, uh, you know, budging or having to force them in, you know. So a little bronze age book. That seemed to fit no problem. Um, got a nice little square bound. This is a 25 center silver age, I believe. Fits in here no problem. So I'm just going to put a bunch of these in here. And uh, I'll show you guys. Although this one, as you can see, will not fit. Um, I have to put this on an angle. So that's a bit of a concern. Um, can't seem, to, oh, I can fit a golden age book in here, but it is tight. So, all right, so my two biggest concerns, so like this book right here, as you can see, it's a pretty wide backing board, and I put it straight down so you guys can see does not fit so that's a bit of a concern I have to actually slant it so you guys can see it has to be slanted for it to fit and obviously if you have a short box you're trying to fit close to what 150 ish books so that would take up a lot of space and that wouldn't do me any good golden age book uh, this is a Dell book from this is what 19 51 yeah I put it down here it does go straight through down um, so it like it just gives you enough room but like not much wiggle room this uh, is a little bit wider so you can see it's a little bit a little bit wider of a book backing board than my uh, frosty the snowman book and uh, that does not fit. So I'd say depending on the size of your bags and boards, if you have golden age books, they won't fit. Um, some will, as I showed you here with my uh, Dell book. Um, silver and bronze ages, not going to be any issue as long as you have silver age bags in there. But um, in this example with this um, square bound silver age book with a golden age bag and board, it does not fit. Outside of that, I think the box itself is fantastic. Um, much better than the you know cardboard boxes that I have at home. So I may be looking at upgrading these eventually. Um, I don't know if they have a slightly larger comic book uh, bin. I don't think they do. I know they have some for um, slaps, which I am going to entertain and give that one a try as well. Um, they do, they will stack, as you can see, they do have the lips there on the corners, on the four corners, which is nice. And um, 
I think the little latches here as well is a nice little touch where you can just like grab it. And um, they actually serve as uh, locking mechanisms, which is nice. So you can actually lock your box. Ah, there we go. That's why it didn't close the first time. So uh, it was partially locked. You know, so uh, now that it's locked, it's nice and flush. As you can see, I can't, I can't open it. So that's that's a nice little added feature that you don't see in um, in other, you know, comic book um, boxes for you for storing your uh, your collectibles. So um, that's it. You know, hopefully you guys like this uh, review. I I enjoyed this. Uh, this comic book bin from BCW, I'm definitely going to be looking at upgrading um, my collection and putting these in here. I'm going to have to figure out how, what to do with some of the Golden Age books I have. In the meantime, that's going to be a separate issue. But for your moderns, copper, bronze, silver, they're going to fit them in here no problem. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's that. Um, if you like that, please feel free to hit the thumbs up if you haven't already. And feel inclined to subscribe to the channel and uh, until next time Mark's with the comics